In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HClO4 plus CuOH2. This is perchloric acid and this is copper 2 hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two perchlorate ions here and only one here. I'll put a two in front of the perchloric acid. Now I have two hydrogens, two times one, two hydrogens. So I have four hydrogens total. Put a two here, balances the hydrogens and the oxygens. We have one copper on each side. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we want to write the states for each substance. That'll look like this. Perchloric acid, that's considered a strong acid, so that'll dissociate completely into its ions. Copper 2 hydroxide, in general, hydroxides are either slightly soluble or insoluble. So for an ion equation, we're calling this a solid. It's going to actually be a solid when we start out with this reaction. Copper 2 perchlorate, that's going to be aqueous, and then we have liquid water. Now that we've got the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, we have two perchlorate ions. In the products, we also have these two perchlorate ions. But that's the only thing that's the same. These are the spectator ions. We can cross those out. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for HClO4 plus CuOH2. I'll write the states, clean it up, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for perchloric acid plus copper 2 hydroxide. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have 2 times 1 plus, so we have 2 plus in the reactants. In the products, we have a 2 plus. Charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HClO4 plus CuOH2. Thanks for watching.